Hey everybody, it's Bobby Joe, and welcome to my home. I am coming at you with another project share. Just a couple of things that I made my mother for her birthday. So I am hoping that uh, you like them. So the first thing I have is this um, little card. The the, the window image is, I believe, from Anna Griffin, and it's from, um, I cut it out with my Cricut. Um, I made some modifications. She did not have um, a 3D uh, box on hers, I don't believe. And I also made my own little cute little flowers um, where hers were printed off and then cut out. In the back, I used some material for the um, drapes, and then I decided to add the bow. Uh, in the back, you can see the embossing. That is um, an embossing folder that I got from um, uh, Joom, J-O-O-M, Joom. Um, I'll link it below. And what I like about it is you can dress it up and dress it down because you've got some writing in it and you've got some bold print as well. So I I find that it came out really well with the, even though this was going to be more of a feminine um, feel card. So I just quickly put it and put um, a sentiment inside and uh, I think it came out pretty good. I've Of course, we all can pick apart um our uh we can pick apart uh, what we've done um Tina Epp was saying that the other day and, and and she was saying something about um making an error and yeah we we see them but other people usually don't so um i'm hoping this came out really good um and then the next one is this little thing here and this this is going to be um, <laughs> a little bit longer to explain so this is a teacup full of um, full of uh, chocolates obviously and I got this off of mixed up crafts and I love, love, love her stuff. Um, it's, uh, yeah, it's, she makes it so easy to make them. Now, of course, this is my first one. I can pick it apart. Well, I could probably pick apart all of them if I'm making them in the future. But, um, anyways, I'll walk you through. Um, any, uh, this, I, made my own little roses in back here and then this is from a die that I have but these are just rolled flowers and a little flower from the um, Dollarama the little gem inside that those that little flower there is from the Dollarama as well on the um, on the handle is just a little um, butterfly that I have a die from, from June um, and I use this a lot I think it's so cute on the bottom um, and you can see where the handle curls around a little bit just enough on the bottom I cut out a doily um, with my uh, Cricut just to not have to go get one at the store because I'm out um, so and then I just she this is supposed to be the saucer um, or, uh, underneath the uh, underneath the cup um, again I um, of course I do little different things um, we all do that we have the basic concept and then add our little um, uh, flair to it. So I just used this Best Wishes. Um, again, that's from a die I, I picked up. These are all dies I picked up from June. Um, the Stitched Heart, the um, 
uh, uh, blooms and stuff like that. Uh, I just, I, I love my dyes from June. I love them. And then finally, if you take all of these out, she's got a few things here. <laughs> put a little flower on the bottom just for de decor but also to cover the glue where we glue down the cup so um, this is just taking my my die there's three different um, sizes of and it's just I'll try to locate it really quick here So this is the set right here that you get, and this is on June. I'm sorry, this is on June, but I bought it off Amazon, and I paid a lot more than June on Amazon. So um, run and try to find this because it's a fantastic set. You can layer and layer and layer. Now this is uh, this one here is a little smaller than this, and all I did was was take the petals off and slowly build outwards um, from the center. So not only is this is this great where you can layer them um, on top of each other like that, but you can also take the petals and and build out and make an even bigger flower. Um, the little bead thing is from um, oh I don't I don't remember where I got that. I think it was a great Canadian dollar store. And then I used some acetate just to to put these down um, and a little bit of tape inside just to keep those in place. Anyways, back to the dyes. These uh, leaves as well. Um, I used a couple of them in here, of the small one. But I use those in various places as well. So it's a really versatile um, set. And I'm, I, I'm, I would buy it at the, the price that I originally paid for it. Um, it was, it's such a good set. So, um, I'll just tip this up. Uh, you'll see the, um, doily underneath. Just to see how great, um, the cricket, that cricket has given me a whole new, um, uh, it, it just, it makes my crafting even, it, take it to a whole new level. I thought my Big Shot took it to a whole new level. The Cricut does too. Do I think I use my Big Shot still as, long, as much as I used to? First, I use it for the embossing features. Then I have some of my dies. I, I prefer to cut them out with the Big, uh, big Shot rather than going on doing my, it's just a quicker process um, sometimes, even though the Cricut is just like using a printer, I I just find that sometimes it's easier to plop a, a framelit on and go for it. And uh, yeah, that's my um, project share for the day. So a little cute teacup. I added a little butterfly down here as well. And uh, yeah, I hope you all like it. All right. Thanks, guys. Okay. Bye-bye.